again, to sort of tie this all together, in today's challenged world, mm -hmm. in Christendom, what would be a great danger? What would be some of the great dangers that we face as a church, as local churches, as Christians, in trying to stay as close as possible to the New Testament principles and biblical principles that we have? Well, when you look at the church history again, the, the f you find an overview of the church history in uh, Revelations chapter 2 and 3. And the first uh, church that is being addressed is the church at Ephesus. And what did the Lord say as he was judging and looking at all those churches? What was he saying? He was telling them that they had left their first love. Left, actively left their first love. So, the first love is really that, that first love that you have when you realize my sins are forgiven and I, I, I belong to the Lord and I'm just on fire. It was speaking of this apostolic, just post-apostolic church really. And, and they had the problem that the inner fire was already kind of going down a little. Dying. Yeah, bit. dying. And, and so, when you have that problem, I would say this is, first of all, that's the biggest problem that you can have. Because from that, every other thing will then uh, uh, come. Every other evil. So one of them would be the danger of losing the sense of the holiness of God. Because if you don't love sufficiently, it means you don't have that relationship anymore. If you don't have the relationship, then you don't realize with whom you're dealing. So you, there's a loss of the sense of the holiness of God. If there's a loss of the sense of the holiness of God, then you have that danger and, and, and the result will be that you really introduce some evil, right, into the church. And, and, and that could be from the outside or it could also come from the inside. So that's one danger. The other thing is if you, if you forget who God is, you see, God is love, and that's why we love. He loves us, and we love because he first loved us. But then, that love that he also is showing us, that has an effect that is now flowing also to others. If we lose our first love towards the Lord, we will also lose, there's a danger of losing our love for one another. Mm -hmm. And, and that is really destroying then practical unity. If we don't love our, you know, our next, our brothers, sisters in Christ, then we, we will lose the unity in, in, a, in, a, in a certain way. And so that, that would be eventually losing the unity will end into independence, which means that the church does not understand itself as one worldwide and the local Churches, the local assemblies will not keep that fellowship one with another worldwide, but then they will start to build again their own little thing and will start to be independent, or they will see themselves as a, as a certain um, circle of fellowship that is like a closed circle, almost like a denomination, right? And, and what happens then is that they become also sectarian in that circle. So losing the first love has a great danger of lo losing the love for one another and that leads to independence or to uh, sectarianism. And then thirdly, I would say that if you don't, if you lose your first love to the Lord, what happens is that you will not, you will forget what is dear to his heart as well. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. God wants out of love for the people on this earth. He wants us to go out and to preach the gospel. He wants them to be saved. So the, the third danger is that we lose uh, our focus, our outreach focus towards the lost. The love for the sinners might go. And then our gospel outreach efforts uh, get less and less. And so, so I believe that to lose the first love is really a, a terrible thing 
to leave it actively is even worse and that's what the church at Ephesus did actually. Yeah, that's fascinating. Uh, Christianity was built on, you ask anybody, what is, what is the central theme to Christianity? It is the cross. Yeah. That Christ died on the cross mm. out of love. Yes. It's built on love. Mm. It is, as you said, it continues. It is to maintain, be maintained by love and the unity of the church. Uh, and it is to grow the outreach to the lost, the outreach to those who have never tasted of the Lord's goodness mm. and have seen how good he is and how much he loves. Th those won't be attracted. But there's not any other faith that is built on love that I'm aware of. Hmm. It really is founded on love. <clears throat> and not just love as a good attribute or a good trait. Only Christ the author and finisher of our faith. He's the one that founded everything that we believe in. He demonstrated this love in such a dramatic way at the mm. cross. Yeah. And it's what continues. It's what can make us continue. Amen. That's wonderful. Thanks for watching The Church Call. If you enjoyed the clip and want to watch the full discussion, check out the lower right video. We upload new content Thursdays and occasionally Tuesdays, so subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay tuned. To learn more about today's video or to ask a question, please leave a comment below. We do want this to be a God-honoring environment, so we ask for comments to be made in grace and truth to one another. God bless and remember to rethink church biblically.